Hey guys, do you ever wonder why some people think investing in multifamily real estate is risky, but putting money into a tech startup or Wall Street stock isn't? While any investment with the opportunity for a return has some level of risk, the one thing that reduces risk is knowledge. Today, we're going to talk about some of the perceptions of these risks in real estate investing. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Augustino, and I am a real estate entrepreneur, syndicator, and investor. In this channel, I share my stories, my lessons, and advice from my journey in multifamily real estate. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to push that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you get all the content you need to stay ahead of the game. Now, as a real estate investor, I'm very active on social media. I get calls from time to time from people asking me to invest in their venture or their deal. Last time, it was a friend of mine looking for me to invest in their tech venture. Now, this friend had been a successful C-level executive with several companies and was very familiar with the world of technology and business. He was looking to raise a total of $3 million in $100,000 chunks in exchange for a return plus equity in the deal. So during the conversation, he says, you know, I know that multifamily real estate is, you know, very risky, but you're handing out some really good returns. So I figured that maybe you want to invest in something that's not as risky. You know, maybe you or your investor network may want to be interested in this tech concept. You know, it's going to change the world. That's how many times have I heard that one, right? You know, now here's a guy that ran a multi-million dollar budget, uh, had international teams. He had many high-level projects as well. And like I said, I've known him for a while. And I can tell you he is a, he's a very smart guy. You know, however, he was brainwashed into thinking that real estate is somehow risky. Now, now, prior to my leap in real estate 15 years ago, I didn't even consider real estate as something to even invest in. You know, it was uh, one of those things that I just, it was an accidental thing for me. Besides the perceived level of risk on sitting on a mortgage in the hopes that a tenant would cover it, you know, that was a scary thought to me. I began to understand the nuances of the business once I got into the real estate game. I started with single families and small multifamilies. I studied everything I could about real estate and spoke to a number of mentors to get a deep understanding on how to purchase and operate large deals and even small ones too. A big part of it is how do you manage and run the deal? That's one of the biggest components of this knowledge I'm talking about. Now, now today, my team and I, we run a real estate portfolio as a business. You know, I don't do e-commerce. I don't do Bitcoin. I don't do a retail shop. All we do is real estate and we're 100% in. I don't consider any investments that deviate from these objectives. So getting back to the conversation, I decided to address the risk of real estate, the so-called risk. I asked him, when was that building that you're living in? When was it built? He responded, 30 years ago, maybe. So for the past 30 years, that building that you're living in has been throwing off cash. So three decades, every single month, there was cash flow. Then I asked him, what do you think that building is going to be around in another 30 years? He said, I imagine so. And it's pretty reasonable to think that. By that logic, that building will continue to cash flow for another three decades I know where his building is. I know that as long as it's operated well, it's going to continue performing. When I look at a property and I look at an investment, I look for two strict criteria: One, capital preservation, and two, cash flow. Of course, there are other tax benefits and forced appreciation. That's icing on the cake. I want to know that the cash we're putting into the asset will outpace inflation and still get us cash month over month. This is what we offer to our investors as a way to preserve their wealth and offset any earned income from the tax man while diversifying their risky stocks and indexes. To me, stocks are of a more risky endeavor just because I don't know what kind of return I'll expect the first week of the month, for instance. 
But I can tell you that in my one deal, my 126 unit apartment deal, I'll have $90,000 in rents coming in next month. I have contracts, I have leases that says that, that says so. You know, your 401k can't tell you, and neither will your stock, how much money you're going to get next month. What's more, if a tornado swooped in from the sky and took out the entire building, insurance would not only cover the loss of rents, but also give us cash to rebuild the whole thing. You know, so there's, there's, there's protections in place for that. Now, my background is in the engineering technology. So I understood the tech that my, my friend was pitching. And it's really interesting, but it's somehow a, a risky proposition. I, I don't know if any of my investors want to risk in something like that especially since they're looking for that reliable, steady cash flow. You know, sure, multifamily may not be as sexy as a Silicon Valley startup, but all the assets that we're investing in, they're going to be around for decades to come. Some of them have already been around for decades, and they're going to be around for many years, as I said, to come. You know, with that, I told my friend that I would have to pass in the tech venture, and you know, we'll stick to the slow and steady cash flow for a multifamily real estate. And as I said, it may not be as fun as a venture capital investing or even uh, trading stocks, but everyone has different risk tolerances. Anyway, what do you think stocks are a safe bet? Let me know in the comments. And like always, if you like this content, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and share it. Also, don't forget to check out the Bulletproof Cashflow podcast. It's on iTunes and Stitcher. And don't forget to also subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Hit that bell. Get notified when we post new material out there. And of course, if you're looking for even more content or even some coaching, reach out to us at BulletproofCashflow.com. We're working hard to get new material out to you guys all the time to help you build success in the world of multifamily. Be great, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.